Keeping bees is a window into something much wider. You, you're looking into their world, their society, their politics, the way they behave. Through that, you become drawn into the whole natural world thing. Kids are really fascinated if you take an observation hive of bees into a school. Natural enthusiasm and curiosity takes over. Well, there's like three types of bees in a beehive. So there's the queen. The queen, the queen bee is the one that lays all larvae in the honeycomb. There's bees that do the work. Work of female sister bees. And they go, oh, I'm going to go to this flower. They take the pollen and they bring back to the hive. And there are the drones. The male bees, all their purposes is to eat and mate with the queen bee. Basically just doing nothing. It's not really a romantic society at all. It's ruthless. I don't actually think they let the queen bee die. I think they actually kill it. They're kind of just like twisted a bit. Take the head off, then the legs off, then the wings off, eat her. Why would you do that? If I made a movie about bees, the work of bees would be the heroes. I've done this, I should be the new queen. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. The villain would be wasp spiders. Humans, because they don't really know that much about why bees are important. Bees are so useful. They help the plants grow and if there was no bees, all of the plants would die and then we won't have any food to eat and then we'll all die of starvation eventually. Before the beekeeper came, I never knew all this stuff about bees. I actually felt quite amazed of what they can, little creatures can do. I think when I grow up, I'm gonna have a beehive. What's the best thing about bees? Honey. <laughs> Honey bees. I love honey in my breakfast. <laughs> I love bees. Bees.